friends, Ms. Vote here. We're going to talk today about 4.12 on page 28 of your book, Barco Roll. We're learning a new note. The new note is D flat. Now, this one's kind of tricky because all you do is push down your pinky. How else are you supposed to hold the flute? Holy cow. So for right now, the purpose of this, I'm gonna rest it here while we just talk about fingerings. So just my pinky for D flat. At the very beginning, you see it's called moderato, or it's not called moderato. The tempo marking, how fast we go, is moderato. And we have B flat, E flat, and A flat. So three flats. As I look through, there are no A flats, so we don't have to worry about that. But I do see three over four. Now normally we have four beats in a measure. In this tune, we have only three. So I wanna talk through this before we play it. So get your fingers ready and we're just gonna say the letters and move our fingers. The first note is C. C to D flat, C, D flat. That's the difference between those two. So at the very beginning, you have pointer finger and pinky for C, and then you're gonna pick up this pointer finger to get to D flat, okay? Let's just say it and move our fingers. Ready, here we go. C, D flat, D flat, C, C, B flat, D flat, D flat, C, C, B flat, D flat, D flat, C, C. Wow, that was a long note, wasn't it? It was tied together, meaning there was a line connecting the notes. Why is it a tie and not a slur, you ask? Because the two notes are the same pitch. So because it's the same pitch, it means you just connect those two and pretend it's one really long note. So three beats for that dotted half note plus two beats for a half note equals five beats total. That's why I held that for five counts. Now at the beginning, we also have slurs. So in this song, we have slurs and ties. The difference is the slurs connect notes of different pitches. So in the first measure, I will tongue that first C. I won't tongue the D flat. And then I will tongue the D flat, but not the C. I'm just gonna play the first two measures for you. Ready? Do you see how that works? It's a little bit tricky, but you'll get the hang of it once you practice these a lot of times. Now, dynamics. We start out mezzo piano. We go to mezzo forte, back to mezzo piano. There is a repeat sign at the end. For the purpose of this video, we won't do the repeat. Just do it straight through. Start on C, pointer pinky. Remember the difference between C and D flat is just that one finger. One, two, ready, and go. I hope you did okay on that. Don't forget to really work on those dynamics.